Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is how to make a stem popsicle rope climber. What you need for this experiment is five to seven popsicles, seven toothpicks, one and a half meters of string, about three feet, hot glue gun, pliers and a cutter, rubber band, and a drill. All right, so here's the experiment. I'm doing a little bit backwards this time. I'm going to uh, do the experiment first and then show you how to uh, set it up and make this experiment. Uh, it is a little bit more complex. It's not as easy as normal experiments I do, but it's well worth it at the end. So this is the popsicle stick climber. And so I got a string here. I'm just gonna hold the top end, hold it, but on the bottom, I'm gonna give pulls and it's going to climb to the top. So here's his main, uh, maiden voyage um, and I'll start here. And he's starting to go up. There he goes. Take a little while. He's getting a little crazy there. And success. So that's your popsicle stick climber. Uh, to reset him is very easy. Just hold the top of the string, um, hold his hips, and slide, pull the string on the top. Keep pulling the string so it's almost to the end. You don't want to have it all the way go out and then you're ready to climb again. So um, that's the popsicle stick uh, climber. And next I will um, show you how to create this or make this. Um, and thanks for watching. Here are the measurements for the legs. As you can see, you have two different popsicle sticks that you're gonna drill four different holes and the measurements are there. And then we go onto the arms. There's three holes you're gonna drill on two different popsicle sticks. So the back, this is the back, and it's just one popsicle stick with two different drill holes, and there's the measurements. And then here's the face with the measurements, and there's two different uh, popsicle sticks. You could use one popsicle stick. Depending what you use to cut the popsicle sticks, be very careful. I'm just using wire cutters, um, and uh, they clip pretty easy for me. Uh, but once again, be very careful uh, that... Uh, then to put it together, you're going to have to drill holes and, on, and you're going to have one on each side of the back of the popsicle stick like this. And then the face is optional just kind of just to see what it's a, a climber. And then take your drill and you're going to drill. And I just did both at the same time um, and drill through and be careful with that. Then you're going to take your popsicle stick. So you're going to line up the outside leg um, on the back and then you put the a toothpick in the middle and depending on how big your hole is on try to size it to the size of the toothpick because you want it nice and snug um, so you keep pushing in until it gets very very tight and then to, on the opposite end take your leg other leg and um, you're gonna have to kind of twist it around back and forth because I, I got it exactly really snug so it took a while to push all the way down in and be careful because the toothpick is sharp um, and so I just kept nudging it back and forth uh, until it got snug against uh, all three pieces. And then from there, you'll be able to use your cutters uh, to cut the toothpick down so it's not uh, extending out like it is now. Um, and so that's the start of the bottom of the legs there. And then you take your cutter, and I'm just going to cut each side. You could use hot glue um, to hold it in place, but I found it to be pretty snug where I didn't have to... Um, uh, do anymore. So then on the leg you're going to continue the same process now but you only have two toothpicks to go through because uh, the back isn't there. So on the rubber band I started off with a four centimeter rubber band but it was too loose um, so I had to switch to a smaller one and I went to a three centimeter. I know it's not fully uh, straight out but um, it, three centimeters is what worked for me. Um, you're going to do the rest of your legs there um, and you're going to uh, take your third toothpick, the closest to the leg. You want to put the rubber band in first. And of course, I'm using the wrong rubber band uh, in this video. I had to push it in with the toothpick because it's a little bit tight in between, uh, depending on the size of your rubber band. Um, but you just want it to be hanging down before you put the toothpick into that final slot right there, uh, which is the second slot of the leg. And then when you put the toothpick in, now the rubber band will be trapped around it uh, to help it hinge and to climb. So you can, once again, you, like all toothpicks, keep wiggling it until it's really, really snug and tight. And then once it is, um, and now you can see when you pull up on the rubber band that it's, uh, you know, hooked in there and it can't come out. 
um, and then you're going to take your cutters and cut all the pieces off uh, from there. Now that you've got the bottom part done with the leg, um, now you're going to be working on the arms. And we're going to do a similar um, uh, technique with the arms. So we're going to start off with the cut piece um, on the outside, uh, one side of the outs outer back. Um, and you're going to put that toothpick through just like this. And you're going to have to keep twisting it if you um, drilled your holes the right size. Um, and then you're going to twist this one on, twist it in a circle kind of, to get it nice and snug. Um, and then when you do, um, then you're uh, able to um, put the other side on. And once again, it's going to take a little while um, to screw that on and get it all the way on. So I skip forward and I've got it all the way on. Um, you want to make sure it's snug and then face the arms outward. Um, and you're going to see that the second one, this is easier this way to actually have the rubber band put in before um, and I probably should have done that about legs, you know, live and learn, right? And then um, you're going to put the toothpick on from one of the outsides um, and go through, let the rubber band um, pass it. You don't want to go too far. And then have the rubber band go um, uh, inside it and then line it up uh, with the outside arm. Um, and then you'll be able to push it all the way through. Um, and then you'll be secure, the rubber band will be secure um, with the arms and the legs, which will help it um, climb that rope. So the toothpick broke off there. Um, I didn't even have to cut it. And once again, you can use hot glue on each end. Make sure that uh, rubber band goes through the middle there. You only want it through the second toothpick, the middle toothpick there, uh, before you put the last toothpick in. So um, this is where I found out it was a little bit too loose um, of a rubber band, it wouldn't pull back. So that's why I ended up redoing it and um, used the three inch rubber band. And then, so once again, once you get the last toothpick in, um, you're going to cut them all off. And uh, from there, I'll go to the next step. So here it is. Uh, see how it's when I'm pulling it up and down, um, it doesn't uh, have enough tension. And so that's why this rubber band was too big and I had to use a smaller rubber band. And uh, so that's one technique that doesn't work. So now I've got my smaller rubber band. And now it's very important here on the hands that you put um, some hot glue or a rubber band around the end. I probably could have used a rubber band. Uh, but you want it so the toothpick on the very end and this hot glue has a very small gap in between because we're going to put the string in between that. And it's got to catch onto this glue or a rubber band if you had it wrapped around. Uh, to be able to get that friction to make the experiment work and to be able to make the climber climb. So you can see it's hard to see here. I'm trying to get in focus, uh, but it's a very small gap um, in there. There it is. Uh, just enough for the string to hit around the, the, the toothpick and rub against the hot glue. And so you want to make sure the hot glue dries before you, you do that. And then what you're doing is you're coming around the bottom there. Um, you go over the leg um, and then you go underneath the third pin. Um, and then you come up in between um, the, the two from there. So what I did is I took out the third pin. I couldn't get the string um, to fit in between um, uh, the actual third toothpick on the arm and the hot glue. So now I've got the, th the toothpick I took out and then um, uh, and now I'm going to put it back in. I'm just using this small little toothpick again, but I'm using the pliers um, to kind of give it a good force through and hold that string back because you want to be able to make sure the strings in between there it is right there just like that in between the toothpick and the hot glue um, and therefore now the climber has the ability to move its legs and arms so here's the end results uh, with a little bit of a climb here and there he goes and all I do is hold the top and pull on the bottom and it will go all the way up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Um, if you did, uh, please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. And um, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you get this to work. Thanks for watching.